Hey everybody, um, it's Caitlin. So today is going to be a very um, kind of random video because it's not really about one thing. Um, I'm going to be reviewing something. I'm also going to be showing you something I bought. And I'm also going to be talking about um, my Etsy shop that I'm starting to try and open soon. So first I'm going to review the um, Wet n Wild lipsticks that I bought and I showed you guys in my previous video. Um, these are about $1.99. So, already it's kind of suspicious, right? Because it's probably not going to have good ingredients as, like, I mean, I already was expecting. And it's not going to be super amazing quality. And as I said in the other video, the packaging is so cheap. Like, when you're using it, it feels just like it's going to break at any moment. Um, so that's one thing that's kind of annoying is the packaging. Um, the lid is really hard and kind of weird to get off. Um, like, I don't really care about stuff like that because it's not like the end of the world if it's hard to get off, but, um, it feels like the lipstick, like, shakes when you move it, and it always feels like it's going to come out or whatever. Um, so I really like the colors, I will say that. The red one I have, um, the more orangey red one, I, it's in my bag. I don't know where I put it, but I have the other one. Um, I really love that color, and it's, what was it, the Pretty Persimmon color. And I was wearing it in my last video, if you are curious what it looks like. Um, I love that color, and I'm thinking I want to find a better quality lipstick with that color, because um, I was wearing it the other day, and I've been wearing that one more than this one. Um, and what I've noticed is when I put like on um, my Russian Red lipstick over my lip liner um, and I blot it a bunch of times and stuff like that, it stays put like forever. Like really I could eat and I could drink things and it just stays on all day. And when I wear the other, this Wet n Wild one, um, I, you know, I have lip liner and I put that on and I even blot it. And just so you guys know, it bleeds a lot. It just, I mean, you can, at the end of the day or in a few hours, you see it coming off of your lip, like, you know, how it looks, like little lines coming out. And I even tested it out and I wore foundation on my lips before I put it on. So, you know, usually that makes your lipstick stay on really long, but it did not work. And... I don't know, I really like it though, so I'll probably still keep wearing it, but it is a shame that it bleeds a lot. Um, so, and also for a matte lipstick, matte lipsticks usually don't bleed, so that's why I don't really consider this a matte lipstick, because as I said before, it, it looks really matte, and when you're putting it on, um, when you're applying it, it feels matte, but then when you're, you know, going like that, it it feels really like satiny. It doesn't have that matte feel where it just feels like it's stuck on your lips, which I like. I like matte lipsticks way more than shiny lipsticks. Um, so I'm a little disappointed it's not super matte, but I do like them. So I'll probably still keep wearing them, but I mean, now I know they're just, they're not super great quality, obviously, which I already kind of knew it would be like that. But anyway, if you know, you want to, like, buy something just for fun. They are good colors, and they're cheap, but if you're worried about ingredients, or weird ingredients, or the staying power of it, maybe, you know, invest in a better lipstick. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my review for these. This is the packaging, Wet n Wild. And this is the one that's called, um, wow, that's really weird. I wrote on the bottom here, the color that it was, because this one doesn't have the name of the color. I wrote it with Sharpie and it is gone, completely gone. I don't even, like, there's no trace of that I even wrote anything on here. But I think it was called Wine Room, and it's more of a kind of mauve -y, purpley, pinkish color. But it's really nice. I'm wearing a little bit on my lips right now. Um, yeah, so that's that for the review. 
The next thing I'm going to talk about is something I bought recently and I completely forgot to tell you guys about because I actually got it like a few weeks ago. Um, so I was at Target and like usual, I'm always at Target <laughs> looking at things, anyway. Um, and I saw all the new e.l.f. like fall collection for makeup and I bought the Little Black Beauty book and it has like a snake skin feel. They, this line really reminds me of like Urban Decay kind of packaging, and um, yeah, but anyway, and I got the Warm Python edition. I didn't, there's a black one, and there's um, this one. Um, the black one I looked at, and I thought, I don't know, I have a lot of those colors already, and I thought this one had really good, like, neutral colors that I liked. Um, so here's what it looks like on the inside. I'll cover the mirror because it's kind of crazy. And it has a lot of really nice, like, neutral colors on this side. And then on this other side over here, it has a lot of really cool bright colors. Like that one, and, like, the purples and stuff. So I think these are really going to be nice for fall and, you know, they're really pretty colors. There's a dark one, like, right there. And, yeah, a lot of these on this side where my hand is over here, they are, they all, lot, a lot of them look the same, but, um, they're also a tiny bit different if you see them in real life. Some of them are more shimmery, some of them are more matte, um, but yeah. Overall, they're really good, and actually, I feel like the quality of these are a lot better than, like, my really big e.l.f. palette. Um... But I really like the packaging of this, and it comes with a little sponge applicator if you have to use this. Actually, they actually work pretty well. I'm not going to be mean to sponge applicators, because I've used them. That's how I started putting makeup on, and they always work really well. So, um, Also, if you bring this somewhere, it's good for touch-ups or, you know, changing your look really fast. These are really great for, you know, on the go and stuff, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, so I really like these. Um, and one more thing. Anyway, so yeah, I've been using these a lot, and they're really good colors, and I like them. So if you find yourself at Target and you feel like you have to buy something, these are really fun and cool for fall, and yeah. And I think it was $6, if I remember correctly. Where I live, it was $6. Um, okay, and then next I'm going to talk about my Etsy shop. So I already mentioned about opening my Etsy shop. And it's been taking me a while because I have to find a really good printer. Because I'm not going to print them by myself for now. Um, until I get better, a lot, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to save my money to get a really good quality printer because mine is really bad. Um, and I'd rather have some someone do it that's really good at it. But the problem is it's pretty expensive. But anyway, I found a website that does it, and they do a really good job. And I ordered one print, and um, it was pretty good. So I'll probably be ordering more soon of some things. I'm still deciding on what I'm going to put in the shop and stuff. Also, I'm still creating like a banner. I'm I'm still trying to figure out like a few things. So it's still going to take a little bit, but I promise. I'm, I mean, I'm going to try and get it running before December for, like, you know, Christmas and stuff like that, if people want to get gifts or whatever, and my goal is hopefully around sometime in November or sooner. Um, yeah, so it is coming along. I at least ordered a print, and, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys are interested, and, um, yeah. So it'll be hopefully soon, and I hope you guys will check it out when it's open. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.